We good? We good? We good? There you go. All right, so uh, this is the part of the workshop where it's all about you. A lot of the things that we learned about uh, prior to this, uh, this part of the workshop, as well as what you're going to get after, has a lot to do with what you got to teach other people and what you got to do, the skills that you have to have with other people. But what we're going to do right now, this is about us. Right? This is about us as an individual, so it's about time that we're going to get a little bit uncomfortable. So we're going to condense 60 minutes of what I typically do, and we're going to condense it into 30 minutes. So I want everybody to just stand up really quickly. All right, I just want everybody to follow me. Follow me, follow me, follow me. We're gonna All right, so as we're moving forward, the second thing that I want to do is everybody's making their way back in. Just want to get you guys very, very, very uncomfortable. All right, get you very uncomfortable. We're going to shake things up a little bit. All right, second thing I want to do, does anybody know what personal development is? Yes. Has anybody never heard about personal development? Never heard the phrase personal development, self-development. Everybody knows what personal development is? Yes. yes. All right, so if everybody knows what personal development is, the next thing that I want you guys to understand, for those of you that are taking notes, is I want you to understand that everything that you're about to hear right now in this workshop is not for your cousin, it's not for your nephew, it's not for your business uh, partners, it's not for your sponsor. Everything that I'm going to share with you right now has everything to do with you. You know, I, it used to be a time where I would go to church, right? Or I wouldn't go to church, and somebody would call me and say, Man, you should have been to that service today. That message was for you. What I want everybody to understand today is that this message is just for you. I don't want you to think about your sponsor, what they're doing, what they're not doing. I don't want you to think about your benefit consultants, what they're doing and what they're not doing. Everything that I say, I want you to believe that it is about you, what I'm talking about. Is that all right? Yes. All right, fantastic. So... With that being said, personal development, it's all about improving your qualities every single day, right? The key word there is every day, every day. right? Every day. It's very easy to be good today, but guess what? Tomorrow eventually happens, right? So you got to be great every day, right? You got to improve your qualities every day. What is personal development? Personal development is very simple. It's in how valuable are you to the marketplace? Everybody know what the marketplace is, right? Right. Yeah. The marketplace is everything outside of this room. Nobody in this room is making money off of other people in this room. Right? right? So therefore, the marketplace is everywhere outside of this room. Everybody got it? Yes. Got it. All right, so we're going to go through these slides. Personal development is improving your qualities every day. Key word is what? Every, every day. day. Every, every day. day. All right. I know I'm young. But I totally don't understand these things. So I'm pressing the button. And it's not moving. It didn't work. It didn't work for me. Oh, I got to do it. Okay. I got you. Thing in there. Got you. All right, boom. So the key word is what? The key word is what? Every day. Every day. So I'm walking and I'm taking, I'm going to go get me a cup of coffee, right? So I, I walk past it. I, I like to observe things. So you, you ever walk and you just walk the same route? You just walk straight. You go into where you're going, right? Sometimes what I like to do is I like to look up, right? I like to look at and go different ways sometimes, right? I like to switch things up, right? So I'm walking past this coffee shop that I typically go all the time, but I've never seen this quote before. And, and can somebody read this quote for me? Somebody that's brand new. Where's an RSD? All right, RSD. RSD, can you read this right here? What does that say? Every great artist has a closet full of bad paintings. Wow. Read it again. <laughs> Every great artist has a closet like full it. of bad paintings. This is me right here. I'm taking this picture right here. Right? I'm taking this picture. I walk past it. But remember, what was the key phrase? Every. What was the key phrase? Every. So you can't just wait for personal development to come, right? You have to actually go out and look for it, right? So I see this post, so what do I do? I mean, it's not even a post. I see this picture, and I took a picture of it. Every great artist has a closet full of bad paintings. 
right? How many things do we see every day or do we overlook every day that we don't take in for our own selves, right? So I just had to take a picture of this, right? So here we go. Let's go to the next one. All right, now here's the tough part. Like I said before, everybody, this whole workshop, this whole summer blast has been all about the skills that you need about other people. But what we're going to do right now, and we're going to get a moment of silence, what I want everybody to do is I want you to rate yourself. This is my style of teaching personal development. I know a lot of you know what personal development is, but just because you know something doesn't mean that you live it. And what I want you to do right now, once you leave this workshop, I want you to actually live personal development. I want you to practice it every day. So we're going to begin right now. And I want everybody in this room to take a few seconds and I want you to rate yourself. So easy to rate other people. We can rate our spouses. We can rate our neighbors. We can rate our co-workers, our classmates. But I want everybody to rate yourself. When's the last time you rated yourself? Remember, what is this called? This is called what? Personal development. So this is very personal. I don't need to know your answer. I'm not going to ask you to raise your hand and say, what do you need to rate yourself? But rate yourself. What are you rating yourself on? You're rating yourself on how valuable you are to the marketplace. So I want you to rate yourself on a scale from 0 to 10. Some people always ask, well, why do you keep a 0 up there? I say I keep a 0 up there because there's individuals out there that's out there that's dealing with suicidal thoughts. Maybe some people in this room right now. That's a 0. Some people dealing with depression, right? Trauma, right? That's a 0. I'm going to tell you about what about these numbers. There's no wrong answer. Take a few seconds right now and really rate yourself. And if I had a chalkboard or a whiteboard up here, I would put hashtag be honest, though. <laughs> Nobody is going to ask you what your number is. This is something that's very what? Personal. 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 Rate yourself on a scale from 0 to 10. How valuable are you to the marketplace? My job is easy. It has nothing to do with a merit plan, but it has everything to do with a merit plan. I'm not going to be talking about the dental plan, the deluxe plan, how to recruit, how to do it online. My lane is what? Personal, personal development. I'm a master at personal development because I'm committed to every day being the best <laughs> version of myself. Rate yourself on a scale from 0 to 10. Thank you, Roger. <laughs> On a scale from 0 to 10, where do you rate yourself? Now, the reason, does, does anybody need some more time? You gave yourself a real answer. Yes. Can't lie to yourself, right? You can't take a vacation from yourself. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to get into this. I'm going to be speaking to your subconscious right now. Because our other conscious, we're a bunch of liars, <laughs> right? So what I'm going to do is I've mastered the art of speaking to your subconscious. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give an example. I'm going to assume that many of us in here are a six. The reason why I said that there's no wrong answer. The only wrong answer is giving yourself a number that you know that you are not. That's the only wrong answer. And I know a lot of people in here, oh, what are you talking about? I'm a six. No, I'm a 10. <laughs> it's good to feel that way. But we're talking about hashtag what? Be honest. Be honest. <laughs> Come on now. We're talking about your value to the marketplace. So I'm going to assume that many of us in here are sixes. There's no wrong answer, right? Everybody say there's no wrong answer. There's, there's no, no wrong, wrong answer. answer. There's no wrong answer. So if you're a six, right? The cool thing about sixes or whatever else number you are, if you're a zero, that's cool. If you're a one, that's cool, as long as you know what your number is. Because the cool thing about personal development is you can always increase your number. But I'm going to tell you what typically happens, right? There's two type of sixes. There's one type of six. They say if you put a group of people, 100 people in a room, what a six is going to normally do, uh, one type of six, what they're going to do is they're gonna naturally gravitate towards the fives, the fours, the threes, the twos, the ones, and the zeros. Why are they gonna do that? Because we 